What about making your sound better? Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Alan Tukmar Chef, and today we're going to be checking out automation clips. All right, automation clips. This is a topic that uh, a lot of producers actually ask me about all the time. You know, uh, they'd be asking questions like, oh, I, you know, saw your project file. I saw you having a lot of automation clips. Why do you need so many of them? And for what reason do you use them? And how can I apply those automation clips in my own um, soundtracks? Now, let me straight off tell you right off the bat that you can use automation clips for like literally everything, or well, at least in FL Studio. You can automate pretty much everything that there is in FL Studio. So let me give you a few examples for what you can actually use an automation clip for. You can either use an automation clip for uh, a filter cutoff, you know, you can use low pass, high pass filters, um, you know, basics like volume control, you can do pitch control, um, pitch it up, pitch it down, whatever you want. Um, you can do gate control, um, you can do delays even, reverb, uh, and all these things go are going to be controlled with the automation clips. Before I give you some examples, uh, let me actually tell you what an automation clip is. So pretty much, let's just say you want to control a certain element, for example, the filter, and uh, you don't want to kind of, you know, control it with the mouse or something like that. And uh, the way you can control that certain element is by using an automation clip. So an automation clip is meant to be this sort of robot, you know, that controls something that you want to happen at a certain time in the track, if that makes sense. So for example, let's say before, uh, you know, the drop, I want to have a delete synth really filter out. And that's why I would use an automation clip for it. So let me actually uh, straight up give you samples over here because, you know, I'm talking a lot and you need to be actually seeing visual stuff. So I have this really, really simple piano chord progression over here. I used the full keys. I didn't want to use any other um, synths or whatever because, um, you know, not all of you guys have all the latest stuff. So I'm just going to be using alpha keys for this. Let's say I want to automate the filter over here, right? So what I can do is I can actually go to our mix over here and we can add in several things in here now before we actually put in a filter or something let me just break down the effects i use for this real quick because i know you guys are really interested in that type of stuff um so yeah i've got the w productions helper saturator here this is a really cool plugin i used it for making the sound sound a bit more full you know what i mean so See, it just adds that little bit of boost in there. Anyways, let's go to our effects and just select Fruity Free Filter. And by the way, if for some reason you can't find this uh, this plugin over here, then just go to right here, click more plugins, and you'll have a full list of stuff that you have. And you can just kind of you know select them like that, and it will show up in the effects section over here. But anyway, we got the free filter and we want it to sound underwater or something. So we would use the frequency control here. So as you can see here, I'm controlling this frequency with my mouse right now, but as we have automation clips, I want it to trigger automatically whenever I want it to. So what I would do is I would reset this, right click and just click create automation clip. And there you go, guys. So we can exit that up there. And this is our basic automation clip. Now, what we have is we have points. We have two points straight up like this. And we also have the tension knob over here. Now, this doesn't do anything right now because we need to create some points. So for example, I want it to be you know, super filtered out over here. And I want it to gradually rise up. Now, my kind of style of automation clips, I guess, is I kind of like it to go up. And uh, as you can see here, I created a point and you can create points just by right clicking. 
So we got a point, let's put it to around 50% and you can see a percentage right over there. And now we're going to be using this point like that and that will kind of create the curvature of your automation clip. Okay, so that's going to be our tension. As you can see, the automation clip is working and it's gradually bringing up the frequency of our filter right there. So now I'm going to create another kind of point like that, bring this down, another point like that, and just have it kind of go in and out a bit, you know, and then to full frequency, so. So that's our really simple automation clip right there. Now let's again select a region, left click, left mouse, and let's try to automate some more stuff. So for example, what we can do is we can automate the reverb. Now, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to create this sort of faded look where the sound gradually just kind of fades away, you know, goes really reverb, really um, kind of disappearing almost, and then it's gonna come back at the fifth bar. So what we're gonna do is we're going to automate the wet level right there. So for example, it's going to rise. So the reverb is going to increase gradually, then it's gonna go down again. So I'm going to keep the reverb at 20%, create automation clip just like that. And we're going to create something like this. Now I'm also going to add another element to this and I'm going to add in a delay right here. Now let's just straight up set that to like, I don't know, two, uh, maybe let's pan it a bit. And this is kind of the volume control of the delay. So for example, if it's at maximum, then the delay is going to be really loud. If it's, if it's here, then there's gonna be no delay. So we're going to be setting that to zero, right click, create automation clip. And we're also going to gradually rise up the delay. And I'm actually going to continue this automation clip and the delay will kind of slowly disappear throughout this progression. So let's just take a listen to that. So as you can see, it creates that build up type of feeling to it. And finally, we're going to be adding an other filter here. We're going to be using the free filter again. And this time I'm going to switch the type to high pass. And that's going to make it sound something like this. I'm sure you've heard this effect, some Oliver Heldens tracks or something like that. But anyways, let's just put that to 10 like that, create automation clip. And uh, it's going to kind of be subtle. I'm going to be triggering it somewhere in this region. So let me just do something like this. You don't want to be, you don't want to go too high on the high pass filter. There you go, that's automation clips where it's not that difficult. Like I said, you can pretty much automate everything there is in FL Studio. So don't hesitate to experiment. You know, you can automate some crazy stuff and you know, you might maybe come up with something unique. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.